So hello people, how you going? Oh look, the Morgan dollar again. And, well, I'm not going to make this video about the Morgan dollar. This is going to be about a different coin. So hello, my name is Glenn and today I'm going to show you something. Well, it's not actually a coin. It's a uh, token or whatever. And here it is. 50 cent coin? No. It's a Donald Trump coin, yay! And the reason why I put this Morgan dollar on the top was to show you that it's actually at the same dimensions, but the thickness of the Donald Trump coin is a lot thicker. So let's have a look at this coin. And as you can see, it has um, the American Eagle on it. And it has Donald Trump 45th president of the United States of America looks looks actually quite good so what coin is this does this resemble okay I have to stop myself there because it's not actually a coin it's not even a token it's just like a commemorative piece of Donald Trump anyway so this commemorative Donald Trump piece is similar to the United States half dollar as you can see uh, except for the dimensions, which are nearly the same as the US old US one dollar, and to make it not legal tender, they've removed the value and the country from this side. But they've kept the coat of arms, which is the the bald eagle, or as I like to say, the glorified seagull. If you have a look, it actually looks quite good, except. The lettering here, it's a little bit, little bit amateurish though. You can tell that it wasn't actually a proper mint that actually minted this piece. So if we turn it over, okay, that has Kennedy on it. And this one has Donald Trump. Ooh, Mr. Red, Redhead himself. So, I called him a redhead, but he's an orange head. So... As you can see, it has pretty much the same as the uh, reverse of the coin. It has a T mint mark for Trump and Gold with Trust 2017. Liberty. And, well, this coin, I have no idea what type of metal it's made out of. But, uh, I need to test to see if it's actually magnetic. Let me have a look. So, here I have a magnet. And we'll test to see if it's magnetic. Is it magnetic? Oh. It actually is, but the weight of it um, makes it fall because of gravity and the magnetism of this actual magnet is uh, pretty weak. Is this magnetic? No. Is this magnetic? No. Whatever coin is actually magnetic. Let me have a look. Okay, so we have a silver coin, not magnetic. A um, copper nickel clad. Oh, is it copper? Probably. Uh, not magnetic. So this one's magnetic. And so is this one. This one is a 20 reels of Yemen stainless steel. So this coin is probably made out of steel or something similar to that that is magnetic. But have a look at the quality of the actual finished product. Even though the lettering is a little bit, uh, a little bit crappy, the fact is that they done it in uh, proof light conditions, which are, well, they've advanced in that way. So where did I get this coin? Well, I got it off eBay. It was actually sold as a um, commemorative uh, medal. It wasn't sold as a coin, and I think it only cost about two dollars, quite cheap. So, if you're into Donald Trump and you like him, you can buy these ones. Uh, they come from China. Well, that's not really anything different. I was actually reading a, a coin catalogue from the 1880s, and they even then. China had a very good reputation for counterfeits and making fake stuff as well. And they even explained that 
even in uh, in their histories up back to the Tang and the War and States period, they still made counterfeits and pretty good ones as well. But this is not a counterfeit coin. So they come in these um, uh, coin covers, and I actually have another one. This one is not as good as you can see. The eagles a bit. They actually come from the same people. Uh, but the lettering on this one actually looks a lot better. It looks more professional. The eagle looks a bit more amateurish, something that you'll get in a, a game or whatever. And it's also milled. But this one also has colour on it. The United States flag. But the effigy of uh, Donald Trump is not as great as well. It's pretty poor. Um, so... If you want a coin of a United States president, I saw that they also had one of Obama and Hillary Clinton. So if you're into them two, you can actually get a medal for them as well. But not bad, not bad. Two dollars each. What can you lose? So thank you very much for watching. Um, and well, let's celebrate America. Yep, hooray! Bye-bye.